Hi guys, this is Nishab Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video, guys, we will work with page.php and single.php. Guys, as I told you before in my previous tutorial, that page.php is used to display a single page, and single.php is used to display a single post. Means how you want to display your single post. I have created one more post. Now we, uh, I have three posts. My first post, my second, and my third post. Guys, if I'll open this post, my second post you will see it will display like this but uh, it should display full content of the post and there should be no read more button here so for that we need to create a single dot php file so for that i will just copy and paste this uh, index dot php which we have uh, made in our previous tutorial and i will give it name of single dot php and i will open this file now i will refresh it most of the code will be same we will change some of the code so firstly I remove this span here and I'll remove read more button as well and I need to open style.css as well so we have div of post box so we will go to style.css and I will adjust its styling so you can see post box and we have given it a bit height of specific height of 200 pixels so I'll copy this and I'll paste it and I'll give it name of single post box and I'll change the name of the div single post box and I'll set its its height to auto now I will go to browser and refresh it Oops, uh, here is one more change which we need to change uh, which we need to do we need to remove this code and we need to replace it with the content because this code is displaying only first 200 characters which we need to change because we, we want to display the full uh, post so we will use the title function of WordPress Oops, the not the title it's the content the content and I will refresh it now you can see it is displaying the full post now we will adjust the width uh, of this box firstly I'll give it uh, a border instead of border bottom I'll give it a border you can see and I will give it a padding of 10 pixels and I will adjust the width of this box so I'll make it 100% and I will I need to change the width of this content as well so we need to create a new one for that because otherwise it will reflect on the previous page as well so the post content instead of post content we will write single post content because we need to change the CSS of uh, this div so single post content and I will copy this and guys the main thing is that you need to change these co this code and remove the extra code that's it and the, uh, but you, uh, you need to change the CSS as well but the main thing is you need to change the code and I will give it width of 780 pixels now you can see and I will give it a margin bottom of 20 pixels so you can see this is my first post so I'll click on home so if I'll display click on this post you will see it will display this post like this so in this way you can change the location of the image as well means suppose if you firstly you want to display the image then the title you can change it you just need to change the code in single.php means you need to make the adjustments in single.php so I will cut this code from here and I'll place it before post title now I'll refresh it now you can see firstly the image will come after that this will come means you in this way you can make the adjustments in CSS now guys if you want to 
uh, in some themes you will see that uh, there is a links in at the bottom of previous post and next post so you can do this for that you need to uh, this is the post content we will make a new div here for next preview links means we will make the links of for next and previous post and I'll adjust its CSS as well I'll clear both and I'll give it a width of 100% and so firstly I'll use uh, div ID of previous link and in the same way I'll make one more div for next link so firstly I'll write previous and next to adjust its CSS previous next and I now I will adjust its CSS I float to left and I'll give it width to auto in the same way next link and flow to right and I need to give display line block as well next thing I think I have misspelled it and n is bigger so you can see previous and next so now we will add some dynamic code here before that uh, I get off margin top of 20 pixels twenty pixels now we will add some code here so I'll write PHP previous post link and I'll refresh it now you will see it will display the previous post link in the same way we will copy this code instead of previous post link we write next post link but you can see this post has not any next post so I'll select this post my post my second post because this post has uh, have more uh, previous post and next post as well so in this way you can you can see the links so guys our single.php has been completed now we will work with paste.php file so again I'll copy this index.php and I will paste it here and I will give it name of page.php and I will open it and and I will open a page as well like services so you can see it is displaying like this because uh, we have written the code like this so I will remove this these lines of code and I also remove the thumbnail because I don't want to show the thumbnails uh, here Now, instead of substring excerpt, we will just write the content. But it will not display anything because we haven't entered any content yet. Like, I'll enter lorem.
and I will update it and I will reload it. So you can see it is displaying the content but here is a problem because we have used a post box. So I'll instead of post box I will write single page box because we need to adjust its styling as well. So single page box and I will adjust at CSS. Now I'll refresh it and uh, you can see with this 100% and I need to remove this uh, content as well if you want to remove it because I don't need it or we can do one more thing we can create a new div like single page content so right single page content we'll give it width to 100 100% you can see margin top of 20 pixels and I'll give a margin bottom of 20 pixels so you can see in the same so now we will adjust the CSS of the heading tag he heading as well so this is the heading class so I'll change it to single post oh sorry single page title because guys if I'll change the CSS of post title it will also change the CSS uh, in the front page as well so we will give it a new div tag and I'll paste it here and I'll copy the CSS from here page title I'll copy it and I'll paste it here and I'll give it color of 333 so you can see in this way you can do the styling like this but guys you can see that the heading very is very much at the top so you can do one thing you can give it a minimum height so this is single page box say single page box it's an ID so give it single page box now you can see if you want to remove the uh, border you can move it from here and I'll give it a minimum height of 600 pixels so you can see so you can change it or 500 pixels as well if you want means we will give it a minimum height of 550 pixels so in this way you can design page.php and single.php so guys uh, this was about that how can you work with page.php and single.php in uh, wordpress theme so guys if you still have any question you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos Let's see the next trial.